Hi, I'm Bob Duhamel, and today we are going to talk about the resistor color code. Now, you don't need to have any calculator, website, smartphone app, or slide rule, or anything like that to calculate resistors. All you need to do is remember a simple mnemonic, and that mnemonic is better be ready or your great big plan goes wrong. Yes, I know there's another one, but we're going to keep this video family friendly. So each one of these represents a color in the color code, and those are black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gray, and white. And then each one of these colors represents a number. And as you see, black is zero, brown is one, red is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we'll start with resistors that have three color bands. So let's just draw a resistor up here. I'll use black for my bands, but we'll make this work. So here are the three color bands. Now there's probably a fourth color band, which will be either gold or silver, but we'll talk about that later. That would be the tolerance, whether it has a tolerance of 10% or 5%, or if there is no band, that would be 20%, but those are pretty rare. But let's just talk about the value of the resistor. So let's uh, just pick a resistor at random and calculate its value. So here I have a resistor. You can't see it, but I'll write the colors on the board. It is brown, black, and green. So the colors are brown, black, and green. So these are brown is one, black is zero, and green is five. So that is 105 ohms, right? Well, of course not. So how does that read? Well, it's very simple. The first color is simply the first number. The second color is simply the second number. But the third number is the number of zeros to follow. Now, some people will say this is the multiplier and say that you multiply it by 10 times this number uh, doing scientific notation. Others will say that this tells you how many places to move the decimal point. It's simply the number of zeros. So this is one, zero, and five zeros. So that's pretty simple. Oops, got to get that in the right place there. One and zero and five more zeros. Simply one million ohms or one mega ohm. Let's pick another random resistor and do that one. Okay, this one is yellow, purple, red. A fairly common one. Yellow, purple, red. And let's not do this by looking at the chart. Let's start doing this from memory. We'll throw out the better because we start counting from one. So let's do the mnemonic from be ready or your great big plan goes wrong. So yellow is be ready or your, that's four. Purple, be ready or your great big plan, that's seven. And red is be ready, that's two. So that's four, seven, two, which is four, seven, and two zeros. So this is 4,700 ohms or 4.7K. Let's do another one. Here we have purple, green, black. Purple, green, black. Just remember that black is zero. So this is purple, which is be ready or your great big plan. So that's going to be seven. Green is be ready or your great. That's five. And then black is zero. So 750 ohms. Now it's seven and five and the number of zeros. So that's zero zeros. So this is 75 ohms. Shall we keep going? Here we have yellow color's a little I'm sure that's not black so it's got to be purple yellow purple orange that's similar to one we just did but another common one yellow purple orange so that's going to be yellow be ready or your four purple be ready or your great big plan that's seven and then orange is be ready or it's three so that's four, seven, and three zeros, or 
47,000 ohms or 47K. Let's keep going. Here we have brown, red, orange. So brown is B, which is one. Ready, B, ready, that's two. B, ready, or, that's three. One, two, three, that's one and two and three zeros. So 12,000 ohms. Now let's try another one. So here we have a little pack of resistors. Red, red, black, orange, brown. Now what do we do with that? That's too many colors. Well, it's pretty simple actually. It's red, 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 black, orange, brown. Red, red, black, orange, brown. Let's forget about the last band for now. Now we have four colors giving us the value of the resistor instead of three. With or without that, we know this is a precision resistor. Without a fifth band, we know it's a 1% resistor. But sometimes, in fact, more often than not now, they also put a brown band on the end, a fifth band telling us this is a 1% tolerance resistor. So we ignore the last band and just read the first four, and it works just like the three band resistors. So we have red, red, black, orange. So that's going to be B ready, that's two, B ready, two, black of course is zero, orange, B ready, or, that's three, so we have two, two, zero, three. Same exact thing, a two, a two, a zero, and then the number of zeros. So this is a 220,000 ohm resistor. Let's do another one of these. Here's another one. Let's get it oriented right here. Blue, gray, black, brown, brown. Okay, so once again, we have five colors. We ignore the last one. Blue, gray, black, brown, brown. Blue, gray, black, brown, brown. So let's start out with the blue. Be ready or your great big. That's going to be six. Gray, be ready or your great big plan goes. That's eight. Black is zero. Brown is B. That's one. So we have six, eight, zero, and one zero. So 6.8K or 6,800 ohms. Let's do another while we're on a roll. The next one we have here is brown, yellow, black, black, brown. Or is it brown, black, black, yellow, brown? You know, these should be printed asymmetrical, so I know to start at the side closest to the end, but this particular resistor, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, stick that up there fairly close, but uh, they're pretty symmetrical. I really can't tell which end to come from. So these are either brown, black, black, yellow, brown, or brown, yellow, black, black, brown. Let's just figure them both out and see what we get. So let's start out with brown, yellow, black, black, brown. That's going to be one, yellow, be ready, or your, that's four, black zero black zero and forget the last brown that's going to be one four zero and zero zeros so 140 ohms could be could be but i kind of doubt it let's flip it over and do it the other way that's going to be brown black black yellow brown Ignore the last brown, that's going to be one, zero, zero, yellow, be ready, or your, four. So that's going to be one, zero, and zero, and four more zeros. One, two, three, four. So that comes out to one megohm. Well, fortunately, these happen to be in the package, and lo and behold, that's what we have right there is one million ohms. So we do have... We were able to, well, we couldn't figure out which is which, but we do see that it is one million ohms. So, uh, should be easier to read than that. Might have to pull out your own meter sometime just to tell what these are. But no, I can't tell which way to read these. That's, uh, that's a manufacturing defect. So, got to watch out for that. Now, let's talk about tolerance for a minute. If you have three color bands, you might have a fourth tolerance band. If you have no fourth tolerance band, it's a 20% resistor. 
if you have silver, and that band is usually offset, so there's a gap between them, that silver, that's 10%, and gold, which is by far the most common these days, is 5%. So it just tells you what the tolerance of that particular resistor is and what range it should happen to fall in. So you might be asked sometime to calculate a resistor, and you might need to know what range of tolerance it might fall into. So let's come up with a uh, imaginary resistor, let's say 10K. So 10K, what's that going to be? Brown, black, and orange. So we got that right. Brown, one, black, zero, and orange. B, ready, or, three zeros. There we have 10K. So let's say there's a gold band on the end. That means it's a 5% resistor. So we have 10,000 ohms, 5% percent tolerance. The question is, what range of resistance might this really be with a 5% tolerance? Well, let's pull out our trusty calculator here, and we take our resistance, which is 10,000, and we multiply it by 0 0.05, and that gives us 500 ohms. So that's going to be plus or minus 500 ohms. So this resistor could be anywhere from 10,500 ohms, the upper limit, to 9,500 ohms, the lower limit. So to calculate your tolerance, you take your resistance, multiply that by 0 0.05 to get your plus or minus number. Then you take the resistance and add that number. Then you take the resistance and subtract that number, and that will give you the range that that resistor might fall in. So this 10,000 ohm resistor may be anywhere from 9,500 ohms to 10,500 ohms. Let's do another one. I don't actually have an example of this, so I'll just throw up the numbers. Red, red, gold. Gold for the third one? Yes. Let's see what this is. That's going to be B, ready, that's two, and two. And gold tells us to move the decimal point one place to the left. Unfortunately, I can't do it as simply as number of zeros, but everything can't be that easy. So gold means move the decimal point one place to the left. So red, red, gold would be two, two, move the decimal point there, that's 2.2 .2 ohms. Let's look at another one. How about yellow, purple, gold? That's going to be yellow, B, ready, or your, four, purple, be ready, or your great big plan, seven, and then gold means move the decimal point one place, so that would be 4.7 ohms. Now what if we want an even smaller resistance? Let's do the same thing with silver. Red, red, silver, that's going to be two, two, move the decimal point two places. Remember, gold gives you bigger numbers than silver, so gold you move at one decimal place, silver you move at two, silver makes the number smaller, so red, red, silver is 0.22 ohms. And if we do the other one, we just did, yellow, purple, silver is going to be be ready or your four, be ready or your great big plan, seven, and then silver, one, two, point four, seven ohms. Let's just come up with some numbers for practice and then call it a day. How about red, 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 not too uncommon. That's going to simply be two, two, and two zeros. How about, let's do a four color one. How about red, red, black, brown? That's going to be two, two, zero, and one zero. So notice that red, red, red on a three color one, let's say that was a gold over here, so it's a 5% resistor. So red, red, red is two and two and two zeros. But with a 1% resistor, that becomes red, red, black, brown. 
which is 2, 2, 0, and 1, 0. So those are actually the same resistance. So remember, if it's three numbers, let's come up with another one. Let's do a, how about this? How about orange, red, red? That's going to be B ready or three, B ready, two, and two zeros. How about green, gray, and blue? I'm just making this up. You would probably not find a resistor of this color code, but for practice, let's do it. Green is B ready or your great. That's five. Gray, B ready or your great big plan goes. That's going to be eight. And blue, be ready or your great big. Six. That's a lot of zeros there. That's going to be five and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it is. 58 million ohms? I doubt it, but that's what it would be if it was green, gray, blue. One more just for the fun of it. How about white and yellow and purple? That would be be ready or your great big plan goes wrong. That would be nine, yellow, be ready or your four. And purple, be ready or your great big plan. That's going to be seven. A lot of zeros again, but this is just for practice. That's going to be nine and four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 940 million, probably not, but that's what the numbers would be. Let's just do one more realistic one. Very common combination. How about yellow, purple, and green? So that's going to be be ready or your four, purple, be ready or your great big plan, seven, and green, be ready or your great. That's five. That's going to be four, and seven and one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be 4.7 meg. And that's a realistic number. I would not be surprised to find a resistor, but the 47 or 33 or 22 tend to be common numbers that you find in resistors. So again, just as a reminder, just remember, better be ready or your great big plan goes wrong. And when you look at the number, just start counting with B, be ready or your great, that's five, be ready or your great big plan, that's seven, be ready or your, that's four, gray, be ready or your great big plan goes, that's eight. And you can use that to calculate any resistor. Just remember, if there's three colors, it's number, number, number of zeros. If it's four colors, it's number, 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 number of zeros. A couple of last things I need to say before we sign off here is that sometimes you'll find resistors with the resistance printed right on them. That sure makes life easy. Other times you might see something like this. Here we have a resistor with just some numbers printed on it. Now, since there's four numbers, I'll bet that's a precision resistor. I bet it's a 1%. And you read it just like the 1% resistors. This would be 4, 7, 0, and three zeros. So that would be 470K. This video is about the color code, and this is kind of rare, but you might run across resistors with the resistance printed right on them, or with the code printed on that reads just like the color code, but it's numbers instead of the color code. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible and a big thank you to everyone for watching.